All right, shalom. Coming to you in the name of Yahweh, Baasham Yahweh Shai, Baasham Hakodesh. The one is unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for the well, and salutes unto the Akim who continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Now, um, this is a clip um, of this uh, Moabite fisherman. By the looks of it, he's still at sea, you know, but he knew he'd be recording that day, so he bought his camera and his pot and his stove. And, um, yeah, man, this is why, this is why, let me just play this, man, and then we'll get into it. That's enough for that. I want to see him eat that stuff. Um, oh, you know, before I go there, what I'm going to do is go to uh, because <coughs> he's got all manner of abominable, um, um forbidden <coughs> animals. In that pot, okay, and um, you know, that's basically not it's not right. But before we get into that, I wanna um, I wanna um, address just the way he is, you know. This is the book of Genesis 2 and serving the Lord power <coughs> formed a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. Now that's speaking about not the biological setup or, or physiology of a man, you know. Um you know, the Adamites were you know were, were there on the scene with all other people but they hadn't yet been up until this point segregated as it were and what was the segregation the segregation was the breath because the breath is not speaking about a lifeless corpse where breath entered into and he started you know walking and breathing and being and existing as it were biologically he was really walking up and down you know um living as it was you know but with no moral 
compass, just like beasts, just out there, man, you know, doing whatever, okay, but when the breath was put in the nostrils, that represents what, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, you know, man, I'm not gonna go back to that video, but you see the conduct of that man, and he, you know, represents a large majority of how the Moabites get down, man, you know, just all over the place, just like a beast, man, you know, if, if if he was chopped up and put in a pot, you know, he's a suitable, he's a suitable, he's a suitable part of the mill because um, it's just abominable, you know, compilation of abomination, man, you know. But it all goes back to the fact that these people were not given the law, statutes, and commandments. In fact, since I said that, all I'm gonna do is go to Psalms. Psalms 147, verse 19. He shewed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation as for his judgments. They have not known them, praise you, Lord. So these people never got the judgments, the statutes. They never got the law, man. So they're just, what they are is a result of lawlessness. You know. I don't tell me about countries, laws and regulations and stipulations and constitutions. It's all fucking bullshit, you know. It's lawlessness according to true moral standing, you know. Which is the Lord, the, the, the Lord, the Lord of Most High. You know how about Shem They're lawless. Hence why they come. Well, I was gonna say hence why they compose themselves, but there's no composure there whatsoever. Hence why you see that just sloppy character and doing whatever. Right now, what I'm gonna do is um, let me see if I can type it in. Fin. Uh, the book of Leviticus 11 um, and it says I'm going to start from verse 9 and it says these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters in the seas and in the rivers them shall ye eat and all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, there shall be an abomination unto you. Now, you know, there's a wide, you know, there's a variety of fish we can eat. You know, the ones that have what we just read, the fins and the scales, man. You know, alright. But all these eels, shrimps, crabs, you know. These animals that come in shells and eels, you know, there's certain things that was in that video I can't even name because I don't know what the hell that is, you know, and it doesn't look appealing, man, you know, but the scripture says what we can and can't eat, man, you know, um, you know, and the hygiene of that man was off, his cooking hygiene was off. Predominantly, that's what I'm speaking about. His cooking hygiene was off. The uh, the animals he was cooking was off. You know. All right. Now I gotta be in a bad position, man. I gotta be. A, let me just say that, uh, man. I gotta be in a real bad. Um. Um. Hunger position, to walk up into. A motorbike spot, man. You know, I remember like 10 years ago, there was scandals of, it wasn't egg fried, it wasn't um chicken chow mein, you know, he was having rat and mouse chow mein, you know, they was cooking up rats and telling people it was chicken, that's out in London, you know, a couple of years back, you know, but let's just say, give them the benefit of the doubt, 
she brings it back I would say about 80% of the time it's not clean meats but let's just say it was some chicken or some beef the way they cook it their hygiene is just off man I don't even, I would have you know like I said I have I you know once in a blue moon as they say you know I eat some more more but man nah, fuck that you know the scriptures tell us man come on bro it's gotta have it out of the waters the sea the rivers gotta have scales man fins and scales and it's why those people are very low vibrational because what you eat actually affects your body man that amount you eat affects your body you know people always focus on the amount you ate too much that's why you're tired or that's what which is, you know it's true in moderation and eating but really along with that is what you put in your system it affects the mind it affects the psychology you know what kept case on point what kept slaves on the plantation in a submissive state psychologically and spiritually after after eating it oxtail the tail of the ox, that's the back, man. You know, there's vibrations to body parts, bro. Even of the animals, man. And that's what they gave to us, because, you know, uh, you know, and Benjamin and Judah, Benjamin and Levi, you know, and even the Northern Kingdom, man. Uh, can cook up and make things taste good, you know. Those are, But those are the low vibrational parts of the animals, man. You know, cow foot. You know, all kind of... Come on, man. Of all the cow, you're going to yam up the cow foot. You know. <laughs> cow foot, ox tail. You know. There's even another one which I, I never had. You know. Um, it's like the lining of the stomach of the cow. You know, just crazy shit, man. But anyways, you know, that's like something else, man. It was just really nice, the same topic, but the scriptures tell us what we can eat, bro, from the sea. And he didn't have, I don't think he had one clean, clean thing, animal from the sea. You know, but he's a heathen, so fuck him, man. But, you know, that's why the scriptures speak about given unto, you know, not unto the flesh, man. You know, people, oh, let me try it out, let me see this. No, no, no. You know. That's, that's not right, man. <laughs> right, I'm playing that video back in my head, that's not right. Let me read verse 11 again and close it out. There shall be even an abomination unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, but you shall have... Uh, but you shall have their carcasses in abomination. So even to look at those animals with disgust, man. You look at pigs with disgust. Don't even touch dead a dead pig. Don't don't even. You see these animals in the sea. They're the cleaners, man. You don't even want to touch them. You don't look at them. You look down on them. All right. There's a classes system even with food, man. There's certain uh, animals. There's certain animals you're meant to look down on, bro. Certainly not eat them. You know, fucking sea spiders and and eels. That's crazy, man. And there's your that, man. I just wanted to show in the law that, um, you know, we're concerned with seafood, man. There's particular seafoods we can eat and particular... And, and, and the stipulation, the regulation is given, which is fins and scales. And the rest, we can't, we can't be messing with that, man. You know, and, and the filth. And the uh, and uh, the waywardness of these nations, my ears are that amount, man. Shalom.